this is only just a quick what was that this is only just a quick message to say um it's friday and i've got something for you for the weekend uh something to mull over something to think about and it's something that as soon as i heard it i thought ah oh, yeah shit that's that sums it up perfectly and it's called the lampshade effect and so what that means is um, by the way, this gives you something to look for over the weekend. If you're done with your site, if you're whatever, you know, you can you can have a look at it. Um, it's so hard sometimes for us as self-storage owners, as people who work in self-storage, to look at something objectively. Um, and that's, to be honest, why I use Dave Davies, because when he comes down, I've seen it time and time and time again, and it's a fresh pair of eyes. He's seeing things that I'm not seeing. And so the lampshade effect is something similar to that. Um, when you see a cockeyed lampshade, um, and this is... This, it doesn't, it's just, it's it just, uh, it's an insight into people's minds. So when you see a cockeyed lampshade in a hotel, in a restaurant, you automatically think, oh shit, what else is wrong? When you see the mucky window, you think, oh shit, what else is wrong? We, we've got a pub in Beverly that it looks the absolute crappiest pub outside ever lovely food inside, but it looks messy. It looks untidy. And people often make comments about it to me. And the problem is, um, I, 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 really care. I know the owners and they're absolutely brilliant. The food's amazing. But from the outside, it's a lampshade effect because it won't get people in. So I actually told, I told a mate of mine, my mate, I said, listen, um, I'm only telling you because I love you, I care about you. But people are, are mentioning about, about the, the state of the outside of the pub and it, it doesn't represent the pub itself. It's a lovely pub. It's old fashioned. It's all worldly. But the outside just doesn't look inviting. And so, sure enough, what did he do? He painted it. It looks a miles bit. It looks miles better. And so, um, it's exactly that. It's the lampshade effect. What you see on the outside, or what you first see, it's curb appeal. That's what the Americans call it. It's curb appeal. We've got to make sure that the lampshade effect works in our favour. So everything is sparkling. Is the windows nice and clean? As soon as you work, walk in, is the carpet clean? Is it is has the floors been sweeping? Whatever it may be, you've got to make sure that you show yourself in the best possible light. It's like going on the first day. You wouldn't go with somebody on the first day smelling a BO, your hair not done, whatever it may be, you'd show your best self. And this, when the customers first come to you, is your first date. To get a second date, you need to and um, you need to be the best version of yourself. You need to act and behave like your life depends on it, or the future of this relationship depends on it, because it really does. And so when a customer sees something wrong, they often start thinking, okay, there's a the lampshade effect. Well, they don't actually think of it, it's just an analogy. But if that's wrong, what else is wrong behind the scenes? So we've got to make sure the lampshade effect is a positive to us rather than a negative. We've got to make sure people come in and they're blown away by how um, the smell of coffee, whatever it may be, the how the reception is, how the outside, the curb appeal is, the cut grass, there's no weeds, you know, whatever it may be, we've got to make sure that the lampshade effect works to us uh, in a positive manner to us. Because we've got to, don't forget that it's, it might not be people's conscious behavior. It's a subconscious behavior. We don't know why we don't go into a certain pub. We don't know why we don't go into a certain restaurant. And a lot of the time, it's because of your first impressions and negative ones and your subconscious mind have buried that and they're, they're like the puppet master. And so they're telling your brain what to think and not to go in there, et cetera. So we've got to make sure that everything that, everything that we can control, we control in a good and positive manner. So for me, um, I like to get other people there. And I'll be really honest with you. Um, Dave Davies came down once and he absolutely tore me apart. And I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed because I didn't see it. I didn't see it because it's my own self-storage facility. He came down and goes, what the fucking hell is this, mate? Come on, mate, what the fucking hell? What the fuck? What the fuck do you call this? And he, he literally just marks on the wall. We hadn't scrubbed it down. Um, you know, when people uh, hit the trolleys into the sides and uh, it was, it just wasn't good. And all of a sudden my eyes, it's like you wear blinkers when it's your own site, when it's your own facility, you wear blinkers, you don't see it. You don't see it like the customers do. And all of a sudden the blinkers were taken off and I was like, oh, fucking hell, it's a disgrace. It's an absolute fucking disgrace. Um, we need to improve. We need to improve. Um, so he said about getting new windows and you're, oh, uh, because of not ref the, the reflective and the, it's just all these little things really do matter. So subconscious behaviors all stack up. They have a stack up in a positive column or a negative column. When I was a salesman, we used to go on sales training and used to try and get as many positive, positive blocks in your positive column before you told them the price. 
um, of the part exchange because when you tell them a price of a part exchange, you're going to amount a lot of negative blocks in that negative column. And so ultimately, at the end of that conversation, you want to have your aim is to have more positive blocks inside that positive column than negative blocks. And then you've got a chance at the sale. And that's exactly like self-storage. If you're not careful subconsciously, then blocks in a negative column will rise, will grow, and they will overshadow all the positives that your self-storage has. So it's called the lampshade effect. Make sure the little things are done. And it's very, very hard. It's very, very hard for us to do it if, you, if you're there every single day or there like I am, maybe, I don't know, once every three months, whatever it is. But ask a friend, ask a family member, ask them to be really, really open and honest with you. Go for a walk around. What is it like? Be open for criticism. You've got to be open for guidance. My friends, that is the lampshade effect. I love it. And uh, it's something that we still need to improve on. We still need to improve on, um, but we're trying. We're trying. We're a lot better than every single, sorry, whole self-storage facilities. We are, I, I believe we're a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot tidier than the other self-storage facilities in Hull. But that's not my barrier. That, that's, that's not where I want to be. I want to be above that. I want to make sure we continue to improve all the time. And uh, yeah, when Fred came around and have a look at my, have a look at my site, he is brilliant. Stop some of the stuff that he notices. I'm like, fuck, how the hell do you notice that? How do, how do you know that? It's just incredible. Um, so yeah, we can always, always be better. That is a lampshade effect, my friends. I will speak to you on Monday morning. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.